Hi guys and welcome to a Unity tutorial of uh, landscape developed using terrain. And I've also changed the skybox, we added uh, grass, trees and so on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out and then we will put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Okay, welcome back to Unity. So I'm going to first of all start by going to my Windows right here. Select Windows and I intend to just import some assets in. So I'm going to go straight into my own asset. The first one I will need, I will be circling for the low poly environment. Okay, make sure you guys uh, download the low poly environment the natural free outlook there so i will click on import there we go then click on import again all right guys the next asset that i'll be downloading will be the starter asset first person okay so i'm going to just click on import starter assets and make sure you install this okay click on install so installing and update is important for this activity we are about to put together so guys make sure you import or up upgrade it okay now we're going to click on the import okay as you can see in projects, I've already imported the asset. The other thing here is just if you want, you can also import different skybox. I'm not gonna bother with that because I can always use the skybox inside the loop. Okay, you can import this. I'm gonna exit out, I'm not gonna import it. Right in it, right here, you can see the low poly here. That is it. There is a skybox in there, and uh, here I have my starter asset. All right, we we'll make a start now. Right click on the hierarchy here, or you can always drop this down and select 3D. And let's look for terrain. Click on your terrain and come right here. We then need the rise or low terrain. Make sure that is selected. And uh, we need a brush. Let me see what type of brush is that's for. Uh, five, I'm gonna select six. Okay. And uh, you see here where we have brush size, 400, okay, that would do. Then uh, the opacity, I'm gonna leave that as 20. So all I just need to do is I'm gonna just pan my brush, just paint it across my environment here. All right, and that we do. So, making sure your camera is in place, select your camera. You can always view your the position of your camera here by clicking on your game. Okay, you can see, as you can see, the camera is right at the edge. So I am going to just realign everything and just move the camera up a little bit. There we go. So you can see. So if I click on run now, I should be able to to view my there we go that's my terrain look at it it's nice to have, I have some heels there so that's fine now make sure your terrain is selected and come right here we now want to change the whole environment so I'm going to click on first of all click on the paint texture okay click on the paint texture if you go to the project area here you we should be able to see that uh, uh, the inspector click on paint texture and then select edit terrain layer and that is the add layer that we want click on add layer very good look at it the add layer is right there okay i want the, gr the green one i don't want the sandy look one i want the green one so once you select that check that out now let's run it and see
Now look at our environment, how that looks like. Well, we can move around. So what I'm going to then do is I will then select my SATA asset. Click on the SATA asset. You see where we have first person. Click on the folder for first person and then click on the prefab. Yeah. So once you click on the prefab, I just selected that. I want to position my click on the prefab. See the where it says nested nested parents. Grab that and drop it right here. Yeah, somewhere there. That would do. There. Okay. If the next thing you want to do is drop down the folder of the nested parent. And you see this UI canvas, UI canvas data, there they are. Uncheck that and the event as well. And check that. Okay, just disable it. Now, the other thing we need to disable will be this camera because if I run it, you won't be able to control your first person. So you must get rid of one of the cameras and the one I'll get rid of would be the main camera. You can see the first person somewhere there because the camera can see it, but I can't control it. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back in here, select the main camera and just disable that. So the camera that I'm relying on is this very one now that comes with the first person. Okay. It's kind of like has what is known as cinema machine attached to it. That's it right there. Cinema machine, cinema machine brain enabled. So I'm going to run it now. Click on run. So with that, I should be able to just pan around or move around. Actually, look, I can do whatever I like. You can see the grass how it looks like. Okay. So now let's go back and apply some grass to it. Make sure your terrain is selected again. Okay? minimize that make sure your terrain is selected come right here and let's select these paint details here this very one okay paint details scroll right down you need edit details inside the edit details look at where it says add grass click on add grass and here detail texture click on that and you can see different grass selection here so I'm just going to set it for this very first one here. Once you settle for that, you can close this and just click on add. All right. So you're going to have to now paint the grass. If you want to increase your brush size, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to paint the grass. Okay. Just paint it around. And that will do. So let me run it now and see how that's going to look like on the terrain. Yeah, there we go. Here it is. Look at the grass now. Okay. All right, that's fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add, let's add trees. So it comes straight to the poly here. And you see where it says uh, low poly environment. Click on that. And here we have URP. Don't click on the URP. I want to install this very one here. Yeah. The, yeah, I'm going to install the natural free URP 17. So double click on that and it will ask you to install it. So I've imported it now onto the system. That one is sorted. Make sure you do that. Okay. Once that is done, make sure your terrain is selected. Come right here where we have the paint trees and select edit tree, add tree, and then click on this tree. All right, the trees are ready. So you can select whichever you want. Let's see this one. Okay, that looks like, okay, now we do. The very first one is called PT uh, Fruits Tree 101. So I'm going to set, set you for that. Just close that. And you have some other ones here. Let's close that. And that is it. Click on Add. Once you click on Add, you see right here, that's your tree. 
you can always click on where it says mass place tree that's about ten thousand in there i just go when it's actually to place that there you might not be able to see it until i run it but the ten thousand trees are already on my on the terrain so let's click on run we should be able to see the ten thousand trees there there we go guys look at the trees there we go let's finish rendering and we have all the trees on board and you can just move around and do whatever you like that's how you create your own landscape in uh, unity so the next thing i like to do that before i leave now is just let's change the skybox so i do have a skybox in here that i select so i might as well go to window and let's select rendering and let's select lighting and environment click on environments right here where it says skybox material click on that and we should be able yeah i can grab all of this that that will do and that's it as you can see the background has already changed so click on run and there we go guys that is how you create your own landscape using terrain and imported assets so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this brilliant tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel i'll be back with more unity tutorial and you all have a nice day bye for now